NVIDIA just announced hardware that makes current GPUs look like pocket calculators. They're delivering computational power that's 900 times more powerful than today's systems, cramming an entire exaflop, that's a million trillion calculations per second, into a single rack. But that's just the beginning. By 2027, they're planning to push 4,600 terabytes of data every single second through one rack, and they're about to put supercomputer-level AI directly on your desk. Let's talk numbers that will melt your brain. NVIDIA's roadmap shows a progression that's absolutely insane. Their current hopper architecture is the baseline. Blackwell, shipping this year, is 68 times more powerful. But Rubin, coming in 2026, it's 900 times more powerful than Hopper. The Grace Blackwell GB200 is the world's first AI supercomputer delivering a full exaflop in a single rack. That's what used to take an entire server room. They achieved this by completely rethinking everything, moving switches off motherboards, implementing full liquid cooling, and cramming 600,000 components into one tower pulling 120 kilowatts of power. But here's where it gets absolutely wild. By 2027, the Rubin Ultra will deliver 15 exaflops per rack, powered by 2.5 million parts and handling 600 kilowatts. That's five times more power than Blackwell, and it's moving data at speeds that shouldn't be physically possible. Here's the problem they solved that nobody saw coming. Copper cables can't handle millions of GPUs talking to each other simultaneously. So NVIDIA did something revolutionary. They replaced electricity with light. Using silicon photonics and micro-ring resonator modulators, they created co-packaged optical systems that eliminate bulky transceivers and slash energy usage. The result? An optical switch pushing 1.6 terabits per second, ready to scale AI systems to millions of GPUs without melting the power grid. This isn't just a technical upgrade. This is the foundational shift that makes their impossible Rubin Ultra specs actually possible. They're literally using light to move data faster than ever thought possible. And this technology is what's enabling AI factories with millions of connected GPUs. But NVIDIA isn't just building massive data centers. They're bringing that same power directly to you. The DGX station is a personal AI workstation the size of a desktop computer that delivers 20 petaflops of performance with 72 CPU cores and high bandwidth memory. Think about this. You'll be able to have more computing power on your desk than entire research institutions had just a few years ago. Dell, HP, Lenovo, and Asus are manufacturing these, making supercomputer-level AI accessible to individual creators and researchers. And here's the kicker. They're building Omniverse, a real-time simulation platform powered by their Cosmos AI engine that can create infinite variations of the real world for training robots. This means robots can learn by doing, failing, and mastering skills in virtual environments before ever touching the physical world. If you liked the video, don't forget to press the like button, comment, and subscribe to the channel. This isn't just about faster graphics cards. NVIDIA is literally redefining what's possible in computing. They're building AI factories, robotic ecosystems, and simulation-powered learning environments that collapse the boundaries between hardware, software, and intelligence. Their roadmap plans two to three years ahead, with chassis staying constant while everything inside evolves exponentially. We're looking at computational power growing by 900x in just a few years. Data moving at light speed and AI capabilities that seemed like science fiction becoming reality on your desktop. NVIDIA has moved far beyond making graphics cards. They're now the architects of the infrastructure driving the next industrial revolution. The companies that align with this pace will be leading tomorrow's breakthroughs. What do you think this means for the future of AI and computing? Are we ready for exaflop-level AI on every desk? Let me know in the comments.